Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has got a tough team selection ahead of him when the Red Devils face Atalanta on Wednesday night, including a dilemma on 36-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo. An emphatic 4-2 defeat at the hands of Leicester City has shaken things up at Old Trafford, and a big performance is in order for the Norwegian to shrug off his doubters. Express Sport looks at how his ideal 11 would look against the dangerous Italian side. Solskjaer put his faith back in David De Gea this season after an extended run on the bench last time out, and the Spaniard has made his chance count. With Dean Henderson breathing down his neck from the sidelines, De Gea has been under pressure to perform this campaign and at times he has looked back to his very best. Although cup competitions could be seen as an opportunity for rotation in goal, Solskjaer needs a win against Atalanta so the strongest possible team selection will be a priority. In the biggest moments, De Gea is capable of pulling off the unthinkable and United already have plenty to thank him for this campaign. Although Alex Tells scored a goal against Villarreal which was as stunning as it was crucial, Luke Shaw and Aaron Wan-Bissaka are likely to get the nod on Wednesday. Solskjaer's biggest conundrum undoubtedly lies in the centre of defence after an unfit Harry Maguire was thrown into the lion's den against Leicester. As such, it may be time to call on the faintly familiar partnership of Victor Lindelof and Eric Bailly. The duo have caused frustration for Red Devils fans in the past, but at least they are both fully fit which is more than can be said for the club captain. The Brazilian missed the trip to Leicester on Saturday having failed to recover from a World Cup qualifying fixture against Uruguay. Edinson Cavani missed the tie for the same reason, but Solskjaer claimed it was Fred who he missed as the Foxes ran riot in a frantic final 15 minutes. To ensure defensive solidity, it may be the partnership playfully termed McFred who anchor United's midfield against a free-flowing Atalanta side, with Paul Pogba partial to a foray forward. That doesn't necessarily mean the imperious Frenchman will be bench-bound, however. Although Pogba has built his reputation as a rangy midfielder, some of his best football has recently been played off the left wing. Marcus Rashford will also be in contention to take that spot having made a goal-scoring return to action against the Foxes, but Pogba would be able to provide some additional defensive cover should Atalanta find their rhythm. A number of stars are also competing for minutes on the opposite flank, but Mason Greenwood's strong start to the season continued with a thumping effort at the King Power Stadium. As for the spot behind the striker, there is little doubt that Bruno Fernandes is the main man in that regard, unless Solskjaer wants to try something drastic. At 36 years old, Solskjaer has made it perfectly clear that Cristiano Ronaldo will not start every game this season, no matter how much he wants to. However, the goal machine will surely be called on plenty of times during United's daunting run of fixtures thanks to his innate ability to find the net. Again, Solskjaer could try something drastic in light of a poor showing against Leicester, and Cavani is a perfectly able deputy waiting in the wings. When talking about the Norwegians' ideal lineup, though, it is hard to leave out one of the greatest of all time.